time moves on, as do the days. Chocolate Emporium or the market. Wednesday's like normally a market day, isn't it? That, that should work. Vendors and buskers, performers and thieves, bourgeois and peasants all bustle from place to place. Prince Juan said that he met a flower girl here. <laughs> no idea how you say that. Signy? Cigny. Chagin. I think he said her name was. There's a swan with flowers over there, do you think it's her? I think so. It's possible that she knows the murderer, or even that she is the murderer herself. So we should probably act with tact and finesse. Excuse me, mademoiselle, flower lady, we would like a word. Tact, Sparrison, tact, we've been over this. Good day, messieurs. Are you interested in purchasing a flower? Yes, I wish to purchase a rose from my lady. I'm afraid that I'm out of roses. I sold my last one a week ago. Perhaps you would be satisfied with a chrysanthemum instead. Tis a beautiful flower from a fair maiden. Please don't mind Sparrison. He fell out of his nest as a baby and he's said dumb things ever since. Hey! Let me introduce myself. I am J.J. Falcon, defense attorney. Are you Mademoiselle... That's right. Catherine Marie. I suppose you're here to ask about the royal assassination attempt. How did you know? I'm no fool, monsieur. I didn't know that a rose I sold was used as the murder weapon. To be honest, I'm surprised it's taken so long for someone to directly question me. The Parisian police seem to have a habit of missing obvious leads, so do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? Business is slow. Please ask away. Uh, obvious one. Mademoiselle, you mentioned that you sold your last rose a week ago. Who did you sell it to? The person who bought the rose. I didn't catch his name, but he was a charming red fox. Sounds like our Juan. I met him around a week ago on the 6th. We talked for a little while about the usual things, you know, like how everyone seems to be in debt these days. Mood! <laughs> then he bought a rose and left. I hear that the fox is on trial, but to be honest, monsieur, I, I don't think he's guilty. Oh, why is that? Well, actually, never mind. It's just a gut feeling. Mm. My actual thought was because um, we got Juan is a fox, but then this private investigator is also a fox. So that's the obvious red fox herring there, potentially. Mademoiselle, it just so happens that we're defending this particular fox in the Cour de Asses. Sure. If you have something to say that could prove his innocence, <laughs> now would be the time to let us know. I'm sorry, Monsieur, I can't. She disintegrated. Wait, Mademoiselle, <laughs> wait up. Damn. Nice display of tact and finesse, Falcon. You scared her off. The swan obviously knows something crucial about the case. We need to get to the bottom of whatever it is. Agreed, but I don't think she'll be in the mood to tell us anything else. I don't know, why don't we try acting with a little more tact and finesse next time? Hush. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's there then. That's the final important place. Oh, Christ. Well, okay. <laughs> At least they're giving me a sort of inroad here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Land of Hagelsack's Chocolate Emporium, the finest Belgian chocolate shop in all of Paris. I am Land of Hagelsack, the founder and owner of this establishment. And I am JJ Falcon, defense attorney. Good day, monsieur. 
Oh, lawyers, very fancy. I must say that I once dreamed of being a lawyer. I can't do German. Lawyer, but the world's circumstances wouldn't allow it. It's a funny... German. It's a funny story. You see, when I was a boy, I befriended the son of a Hungarian attorney. Falcon, you have to help me. What? What is it? It's the smell, Falcon. It's overpowering me. It's demanding that I lay waste to the shop. For pity's sake, restrain yourself, Sparrowson. No, oh, but I'm rambling again, aren't I? So are you missus here to buy some chocolate? Yes! No, no, no. We're actually here on business, monsieur. Business? First things first, we believe that this chocolate wrapper originated from your shop. Are we okay? <laughs> are we okay? That was a Freudian slip. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, are we correct? Oh, yes, yes. That is indeed the trademarked Hagelsack wrapper for genuine Belgian Hagelsack chocolate. This is almost certainly bought from this very establishment. Very good. With that established, there is something else we wish to ask Monsieur Hagelsack. Slack. I've been calling him Hagelsack all this time. Um, is there any way of knowing that? Can you tell us who bought the chocolate that was contained in this wrapper, Monsieur Hagelsack? No, I'm afraid not, Monsieur. Not just because of matters of confidentiality, although I know that is a factor you understand. I'm losing... I um, don't often have to do a German accent, but even if I did, probably wouldn't be good. But because I couldn't possibly know that. I thought elephants never forget. My memory... My, he's, okay, he's, he's French-German. My memory is impeccable, monsieur, but you must understand that I have dozens of customers a day. There are hundreds of people who could have potentially bought this particular item. Hmm, so your memory is good, but you need further information. If we were to give you the description and name of a person, would you be able to tell us whether they purchased something from you? Oh, yes, yes. I, I could probably do, monsieur. Let me think. Who to ask about? Oh shit, everyone. <laughs> yeah, let's ask about the dead guy. From the previous one. Just wondering if we have the, um... Private investigator in here. Probably not, right? Because we haven't met him. Ask him about himself. Yeah, ask about her. She was shifty. Have you ever served a flower-selling swan named Catherine Marie? No, monsieur. Hmm. What are you thinking, Falcon? I'm not sure, to be perfectly honest. If she were the chocolate fiend, then our investigation would have become much simpler. But since she's not, let me think. Who to ask about? He was shifty as well. Have you ever served a porcupine artificiarnado named Eric Pork? No, Mr. It's the judge. Have you ever served a cockerel with ludicrously good posture named Severan Cockerico? No, monsieur. Mrs. I'm growing tired of these endless inquiries. Mayhaps you should come back on another day. You know, Falcon, it's possible that we just haven't encountered the chocolate fiend yet. Rather than coming back here every day and making aimless guesses, we should wait until we have someone specific in mind. You might have a point, Sparrowson. Thank you for your time, Monsieur Hagelslack. We shall return when our investigation has progressed a little. Only time, Mistress. Well, not any time, otherwise we could have kept going. I was saving the obvious one of the fox and everything. I just, for some reason, thought we had infinite attempts there. Fuck it, we'll just go back. Welcome back, Mr. Dose. Have you finally decided to sample of my fine chocolate? Or perhaps you would just return to ask more questions. 
It's the questions today, I'm afraid. Is there any chance that your produce could have been contaminated? Absolutely not, Mister. I stand by my claim that my truck got the finest in all the Paris. I got great lengths to ensure that the high quality and It's just that voice now. It's not German at all. Any contamination would be terrible for business. You understand? And I see. Was there something you could do, Mister Bernard? Let me think. Who to ask about? Right, well, um, since we have limited guesses. Have you ever served Juan Carrido, the Prince of Spain? The Prince of Spain? No, mister. Well, that's good to hear. Our clue would have turned into a dead end if our own client turned out to be the chocolate fiend. I do want to print it so so print of my life that is any hope. You see, I met the girl while hiking through the Himalayas. Please stop. Wrong voice there. Let me think. Who to ask about? Um. Have you ever served a member of the Royal Guard by the name of Major Howell? No, monsieur. Are you sure? Yes, monsieur. I have served many soldiers, but I don't recall seeing a major here in recent memory. What does that mean, Falcon? Have we lost our lead? Not necessarily. It just means that Major Howell didn't buy the chocolate that may have killed him. There's still the possibility that someone bought the chocolate for him. That's our lead. That's who we want to find. I see. I did want to have a high-ranking officer with the British Army. It was on his way to the Marbury if we want to hear that. No. No, I don't want to hear that story. Let me think. Might we probably have one more guess then. Don't ask him about himself. Mouse? Have you ever served a tiny mouse named Mousy? No, Mr. Mice terrify me. Yep. Well, I wanted to have at least one other day of aimless guessing, but... Occasionally, special cinematic scenes marked by an exclamation mark will pop up on the map screen. Oh? for one day before disappearing, but they take no time to visit. Well, we might as well then. A storm is brewing, my brother. Word of the royal assassination attempt has spread. The proletariats grow confident the bourgeoisie are cowering. It won't be long before we have rioting. And then, a revolution. Commie wolves. No? I don't know, there's something going on there. The plot thickens. Fine, let's go see this guy, I guess. I think we've checked every other possible lead. Uh, hello? Is this the office of Reynard Vulp? Ah. Mousy, what are you doing here? Oh, I didn't know where I was. Hey, how are you? You know the mousy. Is your Reynard Vulp? You know, give me a phone. I'm going to turn on. I see. Well, then, can we speak with Monsieur Volp? England? What is. 
Sorry for raising my voice. If he insists to return in a week or two, maybe you can come back then. That's no good to us. Our case will be over by then. There's nothing to be done about it. I suppose we'll have to come back later. Hmm. I wonder if we'd gone there earlier, he would have still been here. Booger. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Let's go back here. Really, Falcon? I thought you were done with your mopey drinking. I'm not here to drink, Sparrowson, or mope for that matter. Taverns are a fantastic hub of information. If we wish to get to learn more about this Prince Juan, then this would be the per ideal place to start asking questions. Oh, that's pretty good, thank you. Oh god, I've forgotten. Much better, thank you for asking, Madam Cornell. No, no, I'm back to investigative work today, so I've got to keep sharp. We wanted to know if you've seen a Prince of Spain around here recently. I've got a script of Kaiju Bolsar, so you can forget about saying a member of Warsaw. That's a pity, maybe I should ask some of your patrons. Feel free, the old regular is ruthless and proud of playing cards in the attic, same as always. But we get all sorts of cards for gangsters in the drinking room. I bet if you ask for enough cages, you will find someone who knows wherever it is you are now. Thank you, madam. We'll see. Let's see where to start. He said they were playing cards, so we should check the card room. Jesus Christ. Uh, I've already done my bloated fat man voice. Um, <laughs> shit. Oh, when in doubt, subvert back to Cotney. Cotney? Yeah, proper cockneys don't even pronounce the C in the K. <laughs> Come on, pal, just one more game of Jacques Noir. Oh, I don't know for this guy. <laughs> no, I can't think of anything. Um... Absolutely not. No, that's shit. Um, absolutely, absolutely not. My wallet is hurting enough as it is. Please, I'll even let you deal this time. There's no room for us. I'm skinned. If you want to play cards, you will have to ask someone else. Fine, I'll ask that big fellow. Excuse me, monsieur. Yes, you, monsieur, would you care to play some Jacques Noir? Sure, fuck it. Oh, God. Absolutely, deal me in, monsieur. Very well, then. Do you know how to play? Yeah. We did all right last time. Of course, I've been playing for years. Yeah, right. Don't get cocky, Falcon. Very good. I shall, I, I shall be the dealer. Oh, I lost myself for a second, though. We will bet five francs per game. Here we go. Hopefully I'll do better at this than all the voice work this episode. Don't feel overly confident in that, but we'll see. Oh, f motherfucker. Unlucky, monsieur. Most unfortunate. Shall we have another round? Yeah, I'm going to win that back. This could go disastrously now. Oh, dear. It's not a drinking problem he has. It's a gambling problem. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, 
Okay, this fucker's cheating. No, he's cheating. There's no way around it. Unlucky. No, I'm done. No, I think we're done. Maybe another day, monsieur. I understand. Feel free to come back any time. Shit, do you have to beat him in order to get him to talk? Jesus. Okay, if that same... If it's 19 three times in a row, there's something fucky going on. Hmm. Okay, that's better. Ha! Get fucked. Well played, monsieur. Here's your payout. Should we have another round? Wait, is this just constant cards? I thought I was going to be able to question him. Let me see if I can win my money back. Yep, yeah, okay. Okay, well, nothing to be gained there. Oh, Jesus, what the hell's going on here? So there I was in the grasslands, 10 kilometers down river. This is now a voice I have just in my repertoire from a single sketch. Rifle in hand. I'd been pursuing this set of footprints for an hour. I was getting closer and closer. I could almost smell the beast. Then I spotted it. It was a boar. A big stupid boar. Completely oblivious to my existence. I readied my gun. I carefully took aim. And then BAM! Piero. Oh god. Um, he's got a thousand yard stare. He looks kind of traumatised. You shot him. No, it was the most peculiar thing. The boar slumped over dead right before I could take the shot. S sounds like one of them heart attacks. Me nan went the same way. That's what I thought. But when I went to take a closer look, I noticed the boar was frothing at the mouth. Whoa, was it rabid? Possible, but I don't think so. I remembered reading something about frothing around the mouth being a symptom of poisoning. Needless to say, I left the dead animal alone. Good call. Who wants to deal with tainted meat? Tell me more, tell me more about the boar. Excuse me, monsieur. Yes, can I help you? You say that the beast you were tracking might have died from poisoning. Could you give us some further details? Further details? I'm not much of a poison expert, I'm afraid. Well, what do you think caused it? I would guess that it ate something bad. I saw some of that poisonous plant around. Wolf's Bane, I think they call it. But really, I have no idea. I'm a hunter, not a vet. Excuse me. Excuse me, monsieur. What is it? I don't suppose you've seen a Juan Juerido around here. He's Spanish royalty. Foxy fellow, swanky hat, calls everyone senor. That doesn't sound familiar. Do you recall seeing anything, anyone like that, Piero? I got a clue. The voices. The voices. Sorry, messieurs, you're barking up the wrong tree, and I should know. Well, what can you tell us about the Spanish royal family? Do we look like walking encyclopedias or something? Leave us alone. I'm afraid my compadre has a point. If you want to talk about hunting, then I'm your man. But Spanish royalty, that sounds like a question to be answered at a library. Monsieur, not a tavern. A library. Maybe you're right. Sorry for bothering you, monsieur. Let's give them some peace. 
God knows he could use it. Are we ready to... Oh, God, no. Slightly too close. Are we ready to hit the road? Yep, let's make a move. Huh. have to hope the library is something because I've got fuck all else here for a little light reading are we not quite Sparrowson I'm following the hunting beagle's advice don't eat poison pork the other piece of advice, that if we want to learn about a member of royalty, we should hit the library. Oh, that makes sense. Say, so, Falcon, I've been meaning to ask, since we're in the library and all, are you a classic literature fan, or do you prefer more modern works? Yeah. Oh, we said it before, we got to be character consistent. Reading is so blasé, give me a good modern opera any day. Good call, nothing beats a well-made show. Speaking of which, I hear they are performing La Damnation, De Faust, at the, Faust, I don't know, at the Opera Comique. I would sell my soul for front row tickets. Jesus. Um, nay, Nathan. Hmm. How many other ways can I distort my voice? Too many characters in this episode. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just trying to think horse now. I know it's a donkey, but you know. And why there's such sinister music? I don't know. Would you? Now I'm just doing the Eeyore thing. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> you, Monsieur's mind lowering your voices. I can hear. Oh, fuck. I don't even know if that's a man or a woman donkey. If it's Nathan, I suppose it's a man, but. Oh, dreadful voices this week. Today, rather. It's not been a whole week. He's another Frenchman. We are in France. Would you, messieurs, mind lowering your voices? I can hear you squawking from the other side of the building. Oh, my apologies, monsieur. We'll keep it down. Wait, you're a librarian, aren't you? An astute ob... I've lost it. Lost it again. An astute observation. Yes, monsieur, as the only quiet person in the library, I am most assuredly the librarian. Well, now that we have your attention, my friend wants to ask you something. I do? All oh, right, I do. You seem like a scholarly, well-read individual. I'm sure you're up to date on geopolitical news and the like. I don't need your praise. Spit out whatever imbecilic question is in the back of your throat. Uh, well, we understand that the Spanish throne is currently under dispute. Can you give us a brief rundown on who the contenders are? What a trivial question, even an elementary school child can name the immediate heirs to every throne in Europe. Yeah, but for the sake of those children who slept through that class, can you refresh our memories? Huh. Very well, pay attention because I'm not repeating myself. The current reigning monarch of Spain is Queen Ragnarok Isabella II of the House of Bourbon. She likes biscuits. No, that's, that's Bourbon. Anyway. Daughter of King Ferdinand the Seventh. Upon her death, the crown would likely fall to her husband, King Consort Francis, Duke of Cadiz. Although it is certainly possible that an immediate family member could stake a claim. However, the Queen's position is currently being disputed by the Carlists, aided by the Count of Montemolin. I hope that answers your question. Did you catch all of that, Sparrowson? Not a word. Monsieur, we're actually interested in a Prince Juan Querido of Spain. I don't think I heard that name in your explanation. A Prince Juan Querido? Is that what you said? 
Monsieur, I think you've been misinformed. There is no current Prince of Spain, and I'm not even sure Coelito is a real name. Everyone seems to say it differently every time we hear it. It is certainly no line of any Spanish monarchy. How strange. What does this mean, Falcon? Well, one thing is for sure, our client is not the Prince of Spain. Maybe he's a delusional lunatic, or perhaps he's involving us in some sort of con. We don't have long before the trial, but it may be in our interest to confront Prince Juan directly and get some answers. Right. Are you two quite done chit-chatting? Pretty much, but just on the off chance. I borrowed this book from a friend. What can you tell us about it? Don Quixote of La Mancha. It's a classic. Everybody has read it. Yeah, everybody, but for those who haven't... I'm not going to sit here and summarize a great work of literature for two imbeciles who are too lazy to read. Nor would I expect you to, monsieur, but what can you tell us about the physical book itself? This particular book didn't come from any library, if that's what you're asking. See, there's no library stamp or card. I assume it was acquired from a bookshop, a French bookshop, if the French translation and publishing information wasn't to give away. I see, thank you. Did you have any question, other questions or can I get back to work? Get back to work, donkey. Don't worry, monsieur, I think we're done here. Thanks for your time. No, I'm bid you a good day. The fox is a wily fox and he's outfoxed us with his foxiness. Right. Did it say it saves after every day or every week? I think it's after every day. So we shall leave it there. But um, yeah. This one is definitely more difficult than the last one, seemingly. There seems to be a whole uh, proletariat revolution brewing in the background, which I don't know how I would uh, beat in a court of law. In fact, we might be beat in a court of law, but the more physical sense of the word. <laughs>